I think that talking is quite paramount and I think that school doesn't encourage enough of it and I think that if we did more talking around mental health when you're like when your mental health was in a good way and when you weren't struggling particularly then it would encourage more people to talk about it when they're not feeling so good and when actually they need help so I think that school should encourage being open about the state of your mental health. And how could they encourage that? I think that we should do more on PSHE because we don't do anything and I think that that would help to reduce the stigma but I also think that they should be more open about the services they offer rather than only offering you counselling if you ask for it and even then you only get a 15 minute session with the counsellor as um, Zach and Ellie said it's in like a horrible room so I think that they could improve that quite a lot too. Right, okay, uh, I think schools should, specifically with a school nurse and in the house office, maybe put more in the environment where you feel more comfortable, don't surround it by school work or anything that reminds you of the stress because uh, that can be an issue and also people can usually see in and it can not feel, it sometimes doesn't feel as confidential as it should and it doesn't, the atmosphere may not always. <coughs> and having that safe adult there, uh, maybe we get to choose rather than having a select person that is of a specific gender and a specific age that maybe we don't want to talk to necessarily. So like multiple options? Yeah, rather than just the one which you may not get along with. Like people in therapy don't always go with their first therapist, they need to take time to choose to trust someone, yeah, build to, up a relationship. to build a relationship. Um, I definitely think, so people with anxiety, stuff like that, um, when you're having maybe like a little bit of a breakdown in class, you need somewhere to go after. Because normally, say if I ran out of class, you'd probably get a detention for doing that. So I think if we had somewhere to go that was comfortable and felt like you felt good there, would be really good. Um, definitely the teachers have made, well some of them have made a difference. Um, start of term checkups, mm -hmm. like I had one yesterday and they basically ask you if you're worrying about coming back to school or if you've been okay on the holidays and I think that really helped to maybe improve a bit more on that. Help sort of ease you into it and like show that there's a support system if you need it and that actually you haven't just been forgotten about and it's not a chore to sort of look out for you. Yeah. Um, in school um, there are many many things that can happen in exams so um, you can be um, referred to have a separate room for your exam so you're not having to be in the exam hall with everyone else which I think is a very very good idea for some students in school. The strong and wise the school facilitating that's been particularly good because I mean when you're there you're like I don't I can't think of a time that I've been with more like-minded people that are going through similar things to me and I mean I felt quite on my own a lot when I was struggling with anxiety so when I went and talked to all of these people that were going through similar things that felt the way that I felt that knew how it was in the life that we were living it was it was a good place to be. Yeah so you felt kind of mutually supported did you find yeah. that as well? Yeah. I think there should be more staff training on a regular basis to do with mental health, so teaching staff how to cope with students who walk out the lesson, you know, having a, either a panic attack, and they need that support from their teachers, which teachers can't give because they're unsure of what to do. And I mean, they always seem to presume that it's about the education. Well, I do not understand the maths, but I feel like they lose sight of the bigger picture sometimes, and that actually being in this maths lesson isn't the most important thing going on in your life at the time. So I feel like they need to realise that maths isn't actually the priority when you're going through things. They don't even have to offer support, they just have to like sort of establish that they are sympathetic and that they're not actually trying to make anything harder for you because sometimes that feels like it's the way it is when they try to stop you from going out of class or that sort of thing. And so I think it'd be useful to give, do practical workshops and like examples and stuff and show them you know, different statistics and how other people feel and obviously hearing it from a younger person's perspective, they can understand how we feel as them talking to us about it. So they're sort of, them hearing it from us is helping them because we're the ones experiencing that. So it can help them better their understanding. I feel like the teachers just need to be more open to talking about it 
because I feel like they are worried that they'll say the wrong thing or worried that they'll react like incorrectly but I think the most incorrect reaction is to not offer support because that just makes you feel like you're not being heard.